Welcome to Ham Shack Reviews. My name is Vince, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to download and install the CP210X USB to UART drivers for Yaesu rig interface and logging. Now, I've needed this on both the FTDX3000 and the FT991 Alpha. First thing you want to do is get yourself a good USB to UART cable. I will include a link to this one down in the bio section. Okay, you're going to want to open a browser and type in CP210X. And hit enter and you should come up to this CP210X USB to UART bridge virtual COM port drivers. Click on that and you should get this right here. You're going to click downloads and you're going to install the one for your machine. I believe this for Mac, one for Windows. For me, I'm going to click the Windows driver. Then you're going to go to your downloads file. You're going to right click and you're going to hit extract all. And this is going to extract it and install it. So you hit extract. Okay, you have to click either the 64 or the 86 depending on your device. I'm going to double click the 64. It's going to give me a window to make changes. Click yes. And then here's the installation. Now I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. But you just follow these prompts through to the end. There's only three or four. You keep clicking next, next, next until you hit finish. And you're done. Then you're going to want to go to Device Manager, which in Windows 10, it's down here on the Windows in the bottom left corner. You right click and you come up to Device Manager. Click on that. When it opens, you're going to come down to where it says Ports. And right here, you'll see it's installed. What you're looking for is the Enhanced Port, which will be COM Point 13. Close that. Now, this is a. a difficult driver to install and it took me several tries and that's why I didn't want to install it this time okay once you saw it in the device manager now you can go ahead and plug in the cable to your radio then when you're ready to set it up you're gonna set it up with COM port 13 as you can see here I've got COM port 13 and you can see it's tracking my frequency from the radio that's all there is to it Hopefully you'll find this helpful. Remember, you may have to do it a couple times. And do not plug the wire into the radio until the driver is installed. If this helped you out, give me a, a like, subscribe, and ding that bell. Final thought is, I made this video with the help of TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a great tool for content creators. I have a link to it down in the bio to download it. You can give it a try for free and then you can upgrade to the paid membership it's only a few dollars i think four dollars a month so it's not bad 73s